Mr. Zundead. It's Radio ITG at the World Cyber Games 2004. And now the map has loaded, and we are going here on Twisted Meadows. Humans, that is SK Fact. And over on the uh, undead side is Hasu Hasi straight away. Spawning up at Crypt. Spawning up at Ziggurat. Going back to Gold. Over on the human side, first thing to be built is the Altar of Kings. While the rest of the peasants go for the gold, as well as a barracks being constructed as well. Also, obviously, training up peasants. Uh, some acolyte being trained up as well. Yeah, this game is uh, kicking off here on Radio ITG. Collecting up the gold, collecting up the wood, getting ready for a long battle. These two teams are actually very close to one another. We have one on the top left-hand side of the map, and one on the top right-hand side. There's one creep in between the two of them, and, um, you know, games which, uh, which, which spawn each other right next to one another usually provide fantastic entertainment, a real intense battle, and that is what we are hoping to see here between SK Facts and Hasu Hasi as uh, the Altar of Kings is just about nearing completion. Farm going up as well. Question marks being said. And uh, right now, Altar of Kings finally constructed here, and straight away, I would imagine, he's going to go for the hero. And that is an Archmage. Yep, straight away going for the Archmage. As up goes the barracks, almost completed as well. Over on the other side, we have the uh, Crypt training up the ghouls straight away. We got the uh, Altar of Darkness, about 75% constructed. Um, very close to being constructed now. Up it goes to uh, 800 out of 900. We've got some scouts going straight away. We've got the militia moving straight away, and he's going to spot the one another. The ghoul is going to spot the militia. They're going to walk straight past each other, and that is going to give him the hint as to where it is. Militia straight away spots the base, and um, he's just taking a little scouting mission in towards the uh, necropolis area, back and away. And uh, right now, the arrows are being constructed. We have a uh, Dreadlord being built by, uh, being spawned by the uh, Altar of Darkness. And then, of course, an Archmage being bought, uh, being spawned by the Altar of Kings for the human side. That is SK Fact here on Radio ITG at the World Cyber Games 2004. Asu Hassi getting his ghoul out of there ASAP as uh, the footman tries to make tries to make work of him. Now we have a footman and um, footman and sorry, two footmen of water uh, elemental. And an Archmage just leading a charge on this Ghoul as they go outside of the base, making their way. They're not going for the creep, they're going for the Ghoul straight away. And as they, the Ghoul retreats back towards his base, in fact, no, he's not going to his base. He's deviating left. And, uh, oh, in fact, he's going to go straight up to his base right now. The question is, will they follow him in? No, they're not. They're going to go straight up to two creeps who are looking mischievous on the top left-hand side, to one up a Water Elemental. And as they do so, they're going to do the of a Nolbu and a, just a level one Nolbu. As they jump all around the Water Elemental, three footmen, uh, sorry, three militia, are taking the night work of another Nolbu. They're, they're uh, doing good work here, in fact, creeping two creeps at one time. Now, here comes the Dreadlord with uh, three or four, no, five or six ghouls. And uh, he's in fact being followed by a footman. The footman is going to get surrounded by four or five of them, and he is in danger, put to sleep, and under attack. And uh, as the footman quickly getting out of there, water uh, elemental doing, coming across to provide some cover. It's now going to be, it's now going to be the ghouls and the heroes going up against one another. Archmage versus Dreadlord here, Radio ITG at the World Cyber Games 2004. And as they push on up towards the, uh, still chasing that ghoul, the Dreadlord is going to just try and cover his back and get the ghoul back to the base. Now, as the Archmage doing long range shot, shots, the Water Elemental is struggling to get into this battle. And of course, the Footman really uh, grouping back up and uh, slowing them all up. Water, water Elemental dissipating. And now the Archmage with his three Footmen are going to go creeping once again, uh, looking for some more. They're just going to loop around. And um, across comes the Footman once again. They're just scouting everywhere out. And um, as soon as. Uh, as they move around to the gold mine as well, they've got one footman who's going to go straight up there, take a look at what creeps are up there, going to be followed up by three more footmen. Uh, if there's going to be a fast expansion, that would be the ideal location, as it's so close to the initial base. They've spotted them, the Archmag is there, and uh, they're going to challenge these creeps right up at the gold mine on the top left hand side of the map. More creeps are going down so near the goblin merchant, the Dreadlord doing some damage. Right next to him, going under attack by two Ogre Warriors and uh, a Forest Troll High Priest. Two of them in back, and um, Asu Hassi makes a light work of them. Gets his uh, Dreadlord almost up to level two now. He's going to make his way towards the Mafia Stone. He goes up to level two, in fact, takes on the Forest Troll Berserker now, and uh, it looks like he actually kicks off at the top left hand side of that near that gold, gold mine. The creeping is continuing. We've got three Ogre Warriors, we've got Ogre Magi as well. And uh, now the Archmage has leveled up to level two, almost up to level two and a half right now. Going for the Ring of Regeneration object as well. And as it continues, the Ogre Warriors are just about to fall any second now. Down it goes. And 
and uh, that goal line has been secured. The question is, are we going to see any peasants making their way across there? I don't think so. And uh, no fast expansion plan just yet. In fact, I was lying to you because up come another, up come three or four peasants getting work on the town hall straight away. But they do not spot the skeleton minion who might dissipate before they before he sees the fast construction being done. No, he doesn't. He's going to make his way towards the peasants right now. Start a battle which he may not finish because he's going to dissipate as he runs out right now. There he is, skeleton minion. But he may have seen enough to warn his teammates that there's a fast expansion going on. We've got more skeleton minions as well. Ghouls taking on some ogre warriors now in the center of the map. We're we going to see two Jack coming in with the new round. It looks like the uh, Arsenal best case back is um, going to go straight across to the middle of the map for a different uh, creeping. But furthermore, it looks to me like they have both uh, both creeped out their local areas and are now pushing down to the bottom side of the map. We've got a level 2 Arcmeg for SK Fact, and over on the other side, we've got a level 3 Dreadlord. Looking at the base, we've already gone up to a Halls of the Dead at the um, at the SCA Hasu Hasi base. Looking around, we've got Crypt training up ghouls. We've got two of relics up, and the base is generally no, no further. Oh, in fact, a slaughterhouse is being constructed right now. Looking further across at the human base, we've got an arcane vault being constructed. Older Kings is already there as well, and um, the keep is up and running. Now, both units, in fact, a, uh, a peasant is just making his way towards a gold mine. He's going to hide behind some creeps, I would imagine. No, gets slayed down before he can get to the creeps, and the creeps wake up. And that is not good news for the Dreadlord, who is taking damage from the Ogre Margis and two Ogre Warriors. But he has the backup in the face of two ghouls. And as he does so, he's uh, lose, lost a bit of health, down to about 525 now in the health department. But is uh, is making work on the uh, creeps that are around there. And uh, although he has lost a lot of ghouls, and coming in behind, could be some creep jack in action because they are in a very bad position. And the Archmeg is going to lead his troops in towards the creep jack. And, and the Ogre Margi is going to give chase to the blues. And out they go. The Dreadlord is trying to make, get out of there as fast as he can. Not going to get caught in any areas at all. The Ogre Margi is not being uh, particular about who he strikes. He's striking down both red and blue. And as uh, the Dreadlord is trying to get out of there, he is losing ghouls left, right, and center. And there we are. SK's Akme is going to pick off another one of the goals up to level three and a half now and trying to give chase with a water elemental as well as well as six footmans um, the trying to get that dreadlord out of there before he took a lot of damage we got another goal with exactly one hit point you're gonna we just roam around this map the fast expansion is constructed we have the town hall up we have two uh, peasants going for wood we have four peasants going for gold looking across I don't see a blue fast expansion, although there is an acolyte waiting around a gold mine uh, just behind an ogre Magi, though, so that could be the problem. Now, looking back around, we've got a big fight going on. Town portal out of there. The blues of uh, SK Hasu Hasi just getting the heck away out of there. And uh, now, Arkmeg just uh, getting his troops out of there, getting ready. Uh, we've also spawned up a level one mountain king. Um, not seen any action yet. As they push down, um, we have them moving across. Regeneration is on for them as well. The Arkmeg is going to, where is he going to make his move for now? It looks like he's going to continue creeping. Uh, we've not had a single base attack yet. The Black Citadel is being regenerated, though. They're going up to, um, sorry, being upgraded to a Black Citadel. Um, now, looking around, we have got the Arkmeg going up against the... Uh, Going up against the Dreadlord now, and a Lynch, uh, a Lich, sorry. We've got an Obsidian statue there as well, spawning up, and uh, now they're going head to head right in the middle of the map here. Arcne versus Dreadlord, Lynch versus uh, Lynch versus uh, Mounted King, and as they go head to head, the fire is continuing to blow between the two of them. Lynch is just making light work off the footman, and um, the. Mounted King is trying to take on the ghouls, but the Mounted King has been put to sleep once again. And now the Archmage is going to take it on towards the towards the um, towards the Dreadlord one on one, hand in hand combat between the two heroes. Now the Obsidian statue is following its suit, and uh, now they are trying to flee. The Reds of SK Fanatic are trying to flee and get the heck out of there because uh, right now they are outnumbered by Hasu Hasi's forces. And uh, look who has not given up the fight, though. It is the Mounted King and the Archmage both going at it. Lost their footman. Town portal out of there. They're going to be out of there in any second now. Out they go. And uh, that war is over other than the creeps that they have encountered as the war went totally map side. And now the creeps are going to try and come in behind them, take down some ghouls. But the ghouls are, of course, under the protection of the... Um, of the obsidian statue. Looks like the uh, gold mine is almost constructed and the expansion for the uh, for the undead team that is Hasu Hasis 
is uh, about to be commencing. There it is. Goldmine is up. He is summoning the gold. And as he does so, the other expansion is still in good working order. So this match, they're digging in for the long haul here with a fast expansion on both sides. And as they push on out, it's going to spawn another water elemental for the level 3 Archmage. And uh, the SC, SK, sorry, uh, SK Fact is uh, trying to make a more creepy movement towards the mercenary camp. He's pushing on up, going up against Rock Gobble, Rock Golem, as well as Forest Trolls. And as they continue to, as they continue to push, the uh, the blue forces are slowly making their way around to their position. In fact, we've got a big army of about I don't know eight or nine ghouls, accompanied by an obsidian statue. And then the Dreadlord right on level four, and a level li and a Lynch, which is right on level two. They're going to go for the um, they're going to go for the level up and continue the creeping movement as they make their way, just outnumbering the creeps like three to one. And we've got Null Wardens are going to go down. Down goes the first, down goes the second, and then all Overseer is going to fall as well. Down they go. We've already got the Dreadlord up to level four. Did the Lynch level up? Yes, it did. And uh, now we're seeing both teams still not going to fight one another. They're still intent on creeping. They still want... Oh, in fact, we have a fight going on. It was a minion who was trying to make his way across to the town hall of, of the uh, expansion. Didn't happen. And very soon, as the fast expansion continues, we've got two ziggurats um, upgrading to a spirit tower to defend the uh, hold to gold mine down at the expansion for the undead side. We have um, the lynches and the uh, dreadlord going up against more golems here, as well as forest troll high priests. Uh, right outside the Goblin Laboratory. As they do so, the Obsidian Statue is on the outside. We've got the uh, Ghouls right in on the fr front line of the battle. The action is kicking off here at Radio ICG at the World Cyber Games 2004. But the fast expansion is being sieged by the Red Army that is, S that is SK Hat. In fact, as he pushes on in, takes, trying to take down the gold mine, which loses a little bit of health, as well as the Acolytes in and around here. Some of the Acolytes have very low health, fleeing back to their original base. But here come the Blue Forces right in the rear, trying to mop up the uh, red forces who have been trying to uh, destroy this expansion, but not happening. The Archmeg about le about ready to level up to level 4. We've got a uh, level 1 Paladin as well, moving around, taking a few swipes. We've got a lot of riflemen up as well. We've got a Priest as well, and they are all head-to-head -head against the Ghouls. The Ghouls are just simply here in force. There are so many Ghouls, but they are losing them fast as well. We've got Skeleton Minions as well, as well as a Destroyer and the Lynch doing damage long range as well. Looking around the Dreadlord, right in the thick of things, as well as the Archmage just backing away. Up to level 4 he goes. Here comes the level 1 Death Knight. That's the third hero for both teams now, right out of there. And here come reinforcements from both sides. We have a Ghoul and a Rifleman making their way towards the battle. As they do so, they town portal out of there. And the Blue Army is going to regenerate and get ready for another siege. But it looks like they held on to most of their Acolytes. I only think they lost one. They did then respawn another one. And um, lost a few goals, but generally they're in a good shape right now, the Blue Army. Now, where are the Reds? Where, what are they regrouping at? They have, uh, they've gone right up to the north-hand side of the map. Are they going to go for some more creeping, or are they going to make a siege on their base? Neither of them have actually gone for the main base yet. It's been the fast expansion that has seen... Uh, that has seen a fair bit of action so far. More fire going in here by the two of them. It's going to be Water Elemental going up against the Golem, as well as the uh, level one Paladin taking swipes at another one. We've also got a Gryphon Rider up in the area, but in fact, he's netted down, he's webbed down, and uh, as he is ensnared there, he's got backup coming in. We've got three priests making their way towards the battle. We've got the Archmage backed away. We've got more fire coming down, more Gryphon Riders, and uh, this little creeping hunt is about over. Looking across for the Blue Army, they seem to be pretty stationary right now in their base. We spawned up an Abomination as well. But looking at the size of that army, that's looking like a 20, 25 unit army there right now. Let's take a little look at the two economies. We've got, um, we've got Hasu Hasi's economy fairly low right now at about 200 and 300 of each. Looking at the other side, SK Lynch's army is uh, also not looking so good. Uh, plenty of wood. But at the gold side, he's down to about 300 himself. Now, both armies going head to head. Creep Jacket coming in as the Blues, the Blues of Hasu Hasi come in behind the rays of SK Fact. They're taking long range shots, they're taking forward shots. They've got everything going on here. The Lynch is backed away up to level three now. There's the Lynch. We've got the Gryphon Riders in the air fighting claw to claw with the destroyers. We've got abominations making their way in here as well. Lots of units down. We've got corpses left, right, and center. Lots of red units lost as well. And I think we've lost pretty much all of the ghouls, but we've still got a lot of riflemen and a lot, and we've still got both abominations. The red team, though, deciding they don't want to fight no more, and they get out of there 
uh, with the town portal. As they push away, we've got, well, look at around, we've got um, just three ghouls left of an army of like 12 or so. Um, we've still got both uh, destroyers. I don't see any gri Gryphon Riders. In fact, yes, we do. We have both Gryphon Riders up and at them. In fact, we've now spawned a third one. And um, they're going to make a push on here. The uh, avi aviary is up and ready. We've all, we're already, of course, up to a castle, as well as being up to a black citadel. And um, right now, the blue army is making a beeline for the red army. Of course, the red being SK Fact. The blues, of course, are Hasu Hasi here at the World Cyber Games 2004, pushing around, both continuing to creep. That's what seems to be the uh, the motivation right now. They're both up to level three. They both have three heroes apiece, but. Um, they don't seem too interested in one another's army. Are we going to see another expansion going on? We have a, a uh, an army of peasants making their way outside of the base, up towards the gold mine, right next to right next to Hasu Hasu's base, and uh, that was an interesting one. It looks like one of the destroyers is just going to come up against an army that's too big for him. Three Gryphon Riders and a heck of a lot of ground units going to destroy him. Pardon the pun. And now this army of SK Fact is going to make its move for the second time on the fast expansion. As they do so, they're getting word to the uh, initial army that is still in the base. They're making their way, making a beeline. In fact, shot that, they're going to go for one another's bases. Oh, and they double back. And now they're going to continue on course for the fast expansion. Doubling back again. Not 100% sure where they want to go. We've got a, oh, down he goes. Another destroyer hit, hitting the ground. We've got two abominations backing off. And it looks like they're just going to defend the base. Hasu Hasi taking damage from from this attack, but the Red Army of the not the Communist Army, but the Red Army of fact is uh, a little bit unsure of what he wants to do as he uh, takes down one of the ziggurats around the base, uh, around the expansion. But here comes in the six. Here comes the Blue Army of Hasu Hasi making their way towards them. A lot of fire going on. We got three, yeah, three destroyers in the air. We have a lot of obsidian statues in the thicker things as well. We've got the Lich up to level three and a half. Looking at the heroes around the Death Knight is still at level one. Abominations, both losing a lot of health. Uh, one of them is down to about just a hundred or so. And uh, it looks like the Riflemen are going to try and make work of him as he loses yet more health. Down to A2. The fire is coming in from both sides here. We've got Riflemen surrounding this engulfing battle. It is a battle royale right at the expansion point. The question is, can Fact make a push? Or will he town portal out like he has done on so many occasions? The Death Knight is up to level two. He has slayed very many, but he has been slayed for the last time now because he is down. Down goes the Death Knight. The, the uh, heroes of the Fact side seem to still be in pretty good condition. Paladin is up to level three now. The Death Knight is down, though. Remember that. The Death Knight of the Undead is out of there. The fire is continuing, though. The fight of the fight in the wall, the fight in the air is going down. Down goes the Lynch as well. We are down two heroes, town portaling out. And the question is, will that level five Dreadlord, Dreadlord, be accompanied by a returning by more army, or can Fact just push that up because he's still got numerical advantage. He is still in the position to dominate this match, and I think he knows it because he's starting to move that army back out towards the fast expansion once again with so few units left for the uh, for Hasu Hasi, he knows that if Fact gives him if Fact will give him the time then he can respawn them but I don't think he can now they're flying across they're going to the second expansion of SK Fact he's got two up he's in fact making a beeline for the base starting the expansion and with four destroyers and uh, I'm not sure whether he left the hero back at base but with four destroyers he's going to make his move on the Arcane Sanctum right now taking a few shots off at it, going for some peasants now, changing course, and uh, the peasants taking damage. Now, right in the middle of the map, though, is the red team, is SK Fact, and he's going to make his push towards this expansion once again. He seems very keen to take down the expansion over the base. Mm, interesting. Looking across the Dreadlord, up to full health, a little bit low on the mana, right in his base, but I still don't see many ground units around to support him. Uh, he's, his economy is... Well, it's all right on gold, but wood-wise, he's down to 79 wood, so it's going to take a while. But the Dreadlord has been, the, sorry, the Death Knight has been respawned, and now the push is going on on the lower expansion here. The Haunted Mine is taking damage, everything is taking damage, and the Acolyte saying, screw this, we're getting out of here, because uh, they are, and they've given up, and the fight is continuing as the Haunted Mine just gets disassembled, and that expansion is down and out for the count. We have, of course, an Acolyte right in the middle 
of a four peasant expansion. The expansion is up, it's the second one, and here come the Death Destroyers to take on the Town Hall. The Acolyte is uh, just going to wait around, but is that going to be a perfect diversion? Because onto the main base come the Red Army, the, 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 they're just fleeing through the numbers. There is not enough of, the, uh, of ghouls and of destroyers about to stop them. Now, looking around, we've got another Acolyte falling, we've got more fire going in here. The push is on from back towards this main base. We're losing life in the Tomb of Relics as well. Pushing around, they're trying to respawn another Ziggurat, but that's the least of their problems. Slaughterhouse is taking some damage as well. Um, the Ghouls are fighting in their very doorsteps. The, uh, the Avery, sorry, the Gryphon Riders, are, Griffin Riders, a dispatching of all air units that are left alive. More acolytes going down, and the more that go down, the harder it is for Hasu Hasi to recover. They're taking a few shots off, but the Red Army now coming in from behind comes Hasu Hasi's destroyers. As in comes the Death Knight, which has in fact fallen. Lord Knight Sorrow falls, and we are just left alive with one hero for the uh, blue team of Hasu Hasi. The riflemen making night neat work of the ground units, and it's all on the Dreadlord, who's down to about 300 health. He's taking damage, he's that low on mana, down to 200, losing health fast. It's one on 10, and the Dreadlord is gonna go down in a blaze of glory here, down he goes. And this could be game set a match any moment now. Good game set by Hasu Hasi, and Fact takes it in a very nice style. Just simply, once again, outnumbering his opponent and looking at the total score, it was a grand 30,000. 30,000 points above Hasu Hasi. A phenomenal match, including two expansions from Fact, just one from Hasu Hasi. And wow, what a game that was here on Radio ITG. 21 minutes and 9 seconds long. And what a game we have for you coming up next. It is going to be from Turkey, uh, Venom, uh, a.k.a. Karim Pulat, going up against the Bulgarian... 420 or Bulgaria 423 WD which is Martin Kanifkov and that is going to happen in about um, I'd say about an hour if I just take a look at the clock here yeah that's going to happen in about an hour at 3.30 here in San Francisco so this is going to be that'll be our penultimate match today I believe and then we have Pure Ball from Team AMD going up against TGE Tichette from Canada so it's going to be a great game here We've got two more Warcraft 3 left today. Tune in over to DJ Wheat on Unreal Tournament as well. So it's all kicking off here at the World Cyber Games in San Francisco.